the final stretch. And the areas where we don't agree, make it clear what the red lines are. President Biden meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin today. The U.S. passing a grim milestone. Far better off if you had one of those vaccines. As health experts expressed concern over the Delta variant. And America's economy coming back to life. The pricing will eventually start to respond to the, the big surge in demand. Alongside a rise in prices, these stories and more coming up on News Break. Hello, South Florida. I'm Zitlali Solace, and today is Wednesday, June 16, 2021. From the South Florida Media Network's Biscayne Bay Studios in North Miami, this is SFMN News Break. Arriving in Geneva, U.S. and Russian leader coming face to face as relations between the two countries remain tense. President Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin heading into a high-stakes summit this morning. The network's Reina Figueroa breaks down what we can expect from the big meeting. Biden will meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin, a showdown expected to tackle heavy topics like nuclear security and cyber attacks at a time when U.S.-Russia relationships are at a low point. President Joe Biden arrived in Geneva. On the heels of his efforts to reaffirm U.S. relationships with European allies at the G7 and NATO summit, one of his goals is to walk into a summit with Russian President Vladimir Putin with that Western solidarity behind him. We share a long history with the United States. We shaped much of the last century, and now it's time to shape this century. Biden has said he may seek some common ground with Putin, things like climate change and Iran's nuclear program. But cyber attacks originally in Russia are also expected to be on the table. It's still unclear whether they will discuss the jailing of Kremlin critic Alexei Navalny and other dissidents and imprisonment of U.S. nationals in Russia. That's where U.S. Russia observer says Biden needs to talk tough with Putin. War with Western standards, Western norms, and he's flaunting his power. So President Biden can deal with him with respect, but he can't sugarcoat that. Most agree the meeting won't bring big and immediate outcomes, but Biden can set a tone. The best that you know President Biden can do is telegraph that he's he is full of resolve. You know that his government is is resolved to respond if the Russians continue. That there will be consequences. Unlike former President Donald Trump, Biden won't hold a joint press conference with Putin after the two will hold separate press conference after they meet in the control center Reina Fieroa is a feminine. Delta variant continues on its way to becoming the dominant strain of the coronavirus in the U.S. Experts reassure the vaccines, especially the two-dose vaccines, are effective against this new strain. They're looking like they have over 85% protection, depending on which study you're looking at, against the Delta variant. A study suggests the Delta variant is associated with double the risk of hospitalizations. Early findings suggest two vaccine doses may provide a lower level of protection for the Delta variant than against the Alpha variant. Yesterday, the U.S. marked a grim milestone, 600,000 lives lost to the virus. Right now, about 10% of the cases in the U.S can be attributed to the variant. A COVID outbreak delays voyages out of Fort Lauderdale. Royal Caribbean being forced to postpone sailings after crew members tested positive for COVID-19. Voyages originally set to begin July 3rd are now being pushed back to the end of July. This comes days after eight crew members tested positive. Passengers who were already booked will be given other options. The cruise line strongly recommends its passengers to be fully vaccinated. Mackenzie Scott, the estranged wife of Jeff Bezos, has donated more than $8.5 billion this past year. Her most recent donation is hitting home. FIU President Mark Rosenberg announced in a news release yesterday a $40 million donation to the university. In a blog post, Scott said she wanted to de-emphasize privileged voices and to focus on areas that are historically underfunded. The funds are said to go towards student success programs. Prices on the rise as stores reopen and consumers start spending again. The network's Ana Soler explains how supplies and flights are in high demand as a result. Americans are opening up their wallets again, and with this increase in demand comes an increase in price in all aspects, from food to home improvement 
and even airfare. We've seen our meat prices uh, probably go up to record high levels right now because the demand is so strong with all our restaurants booming right now. So there's, there's been an unprecedented increase in, in uh, especially meat prices right now. With this increase in demand comes a decrease in supply, which makes prices rise even further. COVID-19 has interrupted supply chains, especially when it comes to home improvement materials, whose prices have soared at a record rate. The prices of, for, for fence materials in particular, posts, two by fours, pickets, they've all tripled. When it comes to airfare in 2020, prices were immensely low, but as COVID-19 restrictions are lifted, the demand for traveling is once again increasing. Delta CEO Ed Baston says that while airlines work to get more flights, costs are going to go up. Go out and get your, hold your seats and get your, get your plans booked because uh, pricing will eventually start to respond to the, the big surge in demand. Reporting from Miramar from the South Florida Media Network, I'm Ana Solet. A cat bandit turning to a life of crime, stocking up on COVID-19 supplies. That's still ahead and so is the story. Each time he would like find another one somewhere in the house and swallow it, it would click together and it perforate a hole through, you know, his stomach. Harmful if swallowed, a family in Florida learns about a hidden danger in a familiar toy. News break will be back in two minutes. If I could go back and change it all, I would. I, would. I think I'm going to miss you the most. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Or maybe it's just a little moment. If I could go back and change it all, if I could go back. I would, but I can't. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. And your mother and her. I am totally a hot person. Right, guys? Thanks for being honest. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Adopt pure love at theshelterpetproject.org. Today, I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. Really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. A stomach made of steel. A toddler in Florida recovering in the hospital after swallowing over a dozen magnetic balls. This morning, a Florida mother spreads the message to watch your kids, all because her son needed surgery after swallowing 16 magnetic balls. As he ate them, they went down into his digestive tract, and then each time he would like find another one somewhere in the house and swallow it, it would click together and it create a hole through, you know, his stomach all the way down into his colon area. The Orlando area mother, whose son is now eating out of a feeding tube, says feels like she failed him. The toy was something her older son brought home back in April. Masks, paintbrushes, and swimsuits. These are just some of the items that Kate Felmet's cat, Esme, has stolen over the past months. The cat and her owner live in Beaverton, Oregon. During the pandemic, Esme would bring up to 11 stolen masks home per day. And not only that, but Esme began stealing other items from neighbors. After a year of committing these crimes, Felmet took to publicly shaming her cat, 
with a sign that also helped bring back the items that were once their owners. That's all the time we have for News Break. I'm Zitlali Solache. Get more news anytime at sfmn.fiu.edu.